It's time for our heroes to face off against the mole rats. Sure hope no one ends up eating a chocolate covered pretzel. Remember? From the movie? Dandy Minus! <laughs> All right. You are facing these four mall rats. Roll your initiative for me. 18, 12. Well, I think one of my infusions, I think I get advantage on in, uh, initiative because of one of my infusions. I'm currently looking for that. <laughs> I'm almost certain of it. Let me look at it. Uh, so yeah, I want to add infusions, but I don't know how. <laughs> oh, you click on it. Click on the infusion. No, that didn't. That did nothing. Yeah, it did nothing. Click on the. So it says the thing up at the top, and it says item to be infused, and you have to choose. Press the little red thing that says choose. Podcast listener, I know you're like Eli. Why didn't you have a conversation <laughs> about this before the podcast? Oh, we did. <laughs> I cannot emphasize to you. But Eli was just like, "Oh no, you don't need to do that." And I'm like, "Fuck, I don't." It gives me advantage on initiative. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, let's not sit here while you're like." And this marble has the power of sex. <laughs> I'm fine not infusing it as long as I get to just roll uh, with advantage on initiative. Roll your. You I rolled the exact same. No. no, I didn't. I just, I, no. <laughs> Actually, I rolled worse. It was a 12 and a 10. So I, I'm 12. All right. Anna, roll your initiative pretty, please. I'm trying to. One second. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm fucking try I'm trying to. Sorry. Okay. No, no. Is go. it in a different place on your character sheet than it's been for the last couple of years? I got a fucking two. Oh. Yeah. So I am a, I, that was a crit fail. Because you pressured her too much. <laughs> Thanks for that. I, I blame you, honestly, uh, if I'm being honest. Byron steps on his penis on the way to fight the rats. <laughs> wait, wait, what's everybody's name again? You can use your regular names. You don't have to use your new names. Oh, that's that's lame. I'm still Dave. Well, but we're we're us. Yeah. I know, but it'd be fun to make fun <laughs> Claude of just wants from... to do some role play. <laughs> <laughs> this is some meta role playing. Claude's just into it. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me Davide. If you'd like. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Claw. Good news. You are up first. Okay. Good. Because I have no idea what to do because we are totally new characters again. So are the Eldritch Cannons already created? Yes. Okay. And I have two, right? Yeah. You can flick it out as like a double weapon thing from your little bracelet things. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to... Okay. So how far are we from them? You are standing nose to nose, essentially. Four on four. Four on four. I'm going to, when we're in a line, right? So if I fire ahead, I'm not going to hit any allies. I mean, you're nose to nose, but it depends on the size of the blast radius, I guess. Okay, I'm going to do flamethrower. Eldritch Cannon flamethrower. All right. Let me look at the distance on that bad boy. <laughs> okay, we're about to get into a fight with just like, for mall dwellers and, and you, you did just you, yeah out of your wrist new flip out a double barrel flip <laughs> <laughs> hell like, yeah i love this i have a blue bear backpack i apparently despise poverty and yes i have a double barrel flamethrower that's true <laughs> can't be denied is the flamethrower just a bonus action or can it be an attack i believe it is an attack yeah okay 15 foot range and they they make a dexterity saving throw yeah, the DC is 12. Okay, great. That's not very high. We're kids, man. In a mall. <laughs> We're kids. We should all get like disadvantages on intelligence. Wait, how old are we? I think we're like 16. Yeah, you're in your teens. Yeah. Okay. We're saving them in case we need a future season. So they're teens. <laughs> and the mall rats also same age as us, teens? Yeah. We're killing children. <laughs> Um, they're actually they're actually younger. They're like five or six, which is actually pretty old for a mouse. <laughs> yeah, right. Really, that's like eighty three in mouse years. Yeah, <laughs> so we're killing elderly. Okay, so it's a fifteen foot cone. So I'm gonna say you get any three of them you like. I'm gonna describe the rats. So the one on the far left, 
They're wearing sort of like a, a what you would consider like a robber's mask, a bandit mask, kind of like the Hamburglar. And they have nunchucks. The second one, they have a long bow staff. You're doing okay. the Ninja Turtles. The third one. <laughs> oh my God. The third one has Psy. Psy. Yeah. Yes. That's the best uh-huh. one, actually. And the last one, the one on the far right, has a handgun. <laughs> a handgun. <laughs> because I always thought it was weird that one of them had a very obvious deadly weapon. So you can get you can get any three next to each other. Does that make sense? Okay, so nunchucks is on the left, right? Nunchucks is on the left, yes. Yeah, you have to miss handgun or nunchucks. Yeah. I'm going to miss nunchucks. All right. So first guy in misses or gets hit, rather. Second guy in misses, or sorry, gets hit rather. And third one gets, they all three get hit. So roll that damage for me. Ooh, six. Six damage to each. All right. And then as my bonus action, yeah, I'm going to use Eldritch Cannon Force Ballista. Mm-hmm. It is a ranged spell attack inflicting 3d8 force damage and pushing the target creature up to five feet away. From the cannon. I'm going to hit the handgun guy. Great. Need an 18, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Seven. Oh, nope. That won't oh, do it. Oh, dear. So you fire this. What does what the, uh, the force ballista look like in this case? What fires out of there? Essentially, like, the cannon, like, goes from horizontal to vertical, and then just, let's see, flamethrower's red. Mm-hmm. So force ballista is yellow. That's, yellow. that's all I can nice. this, imagine. This shot of yellow force goes zooming past the ear of the rat with the handgun. Anything else in your turn? Movement. I am going to like move around handgun guys stage right. So I'm going to like move around so that I'm kind of flanking from the right side the handgun guy. I'm going to kind of step out of line, run around, and so we're not all in a line. Okay, so you're now facing the line. The rats are all facing your team, and you're now facing the line from the side, right? hmm How far back are you from the line? Let's say five feet. Oh, so you're right up against the side of that line. The rats? Five feet is right next to them. So you're like holding a flamethrower to the guy's temple who has a gun. Right, to the guy's <laughs> temple. Five feet would be... Technically, there's a foot. Because the cannon's four feet, right? So there's a foot between the cannon and the handgun guy head. Okay. But you like got the drop on gun guy with a (laughs) flamethrower. Five feet is within like striking distance, just so you know. So if you say five feet, he can like reach out and slap you. 5.25 feet. Let's say 10, just because we're working with squares. (laughs) Let him try to slap you instead of using his gun. (laughs) Yeah, that feels like the best bet, really. Feels like a win-win. 5.25 feet. Okay. Cool. On your graph paper, please. No, it's, I'll just make my square into, into four more squares. <laughs> and then... All right. This is why we need a virtual tabletop. God damn it. <laughs> virtual tabletop can't be bullied. All right. I love the idea that he's going to maybe try to like slap you and miss by three inches because you just mm-hmm. did what you did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a fingernail scratch. Yep. I feel like Donatello <laughs> can still get you, though, from five That's feet true. out. So. Yeah. Nunchucks swings his nunchucks around his head. Well, that's a good sign for us of all the heads he could be swinging them around. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a good sign that anybody is holding nunchucks. If I'm ever in a fight and somebody's like, I have nunchucks and they start doing kata, I'm going to be happy about it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. He swings his nunchucks around like his companions and they are all healed. By the sheer awesomeness of nunchucks. He has healing nunchucks kata. Healing nunchucks. That's silly. We've done one attack. Right. Yeah, exactly. Six damage. Yeah. Don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up is <laughs> Bow Staff Guy, who for some reason, everybody do a insight check for me. Mm. Yeah, do an mm. insight roll for me. I am not very insightful. That went badly for me. 16. Ugh. Eight. I like hurt myself trying to insight. <laughs> yeah. Nat 20. Oh, nice. nat oh. Cedric, with a nat 20, you realize that the one with the bow staff is in fact 
the coolest of all them all. No, it fucking is it. No, the hell it is. By far I the coolest. that fucking 20, I no. get to make the coolest goddamn <laughs> one of them Cy It would be Cy yeah. or Nunchucks. It has to be either cool but rude or the party dude. What are you talking no, about? No, I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm a dungeon master describing God damn my it. play space and I'm just letting you know. <laughs> this is Donatello being the best all over again. You're <laughs> sucking up to Floon Puff's ancestors is what you're doing. <laughs> or children, perhaps. <laughs> well, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, descendants. I don't know. I don't know where we fall actually in the timeline. <laughs> we were told not to ask about numbers last time. Right? <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. He's going to take two swipes at you, Brant, with his super dope staff. What's your AC? Do you mean Byron? Byron, that's right. What's your AC? That's uh, 19 as of a few seconds ago. Thank you, Infusion. <laughs> All right. So those both of those attacks will miss. And then he's going to throw a javelin at Claw. He has a bow staff. Where the, the fuck javelin? is he getting a javelin? This is silly. Oh, sorry. He throws his bow staff at Claw. Okay. So he could be weaponless. Is it sharpened on one side? <laughs> is that 15? 15 hit? No. No. But I'll tell you what happens. Because he's so cool, it bounces off your like chest. Absolutely not. And back no. into his hand. No, I have a bow staff javelin now. <laughs> Wouldn't he be like throwing it through his own buddies? He, he does it like threads the needle because of how absolutely awesome he is. Sure. He's not, okay. He's never awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Can I do a... Uh... You don't, you're not a monk. You can't do that thing anymore. No, 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 no. But like, did he roll to get <laughs> that bow staff back or no? No. That is so lame. I should have a bow staff now. <laughs> no, you don't have it because he bounced it off your chest. I'm going to do a sleight of hand really quick. See if I can grab it. That's a 24. Five? No. Morgan catches it like Gina Davis in a league of their own. And now he has the bow staff. Absolutely not. You don't just get to roll face. dice. No, no. It bounces off your chest. Wait, you mean doing the splits, Heath? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to do it behind the back? I'm thinking earlier in the movie where she does the, she just gets, you know, the attempted peg and she just catches it barehand. Okay. All right. All right. And now the the rat with the gun turns. And Rosie O'Donnell tries to hit her. Tries to shoot Claw in the face. That's a 16. Nope. And an eight. <laughs> Shoots on either no. side. For some reason, <laughs> somehow, this gunslinger shoots to either side of your head and is like, he's moving too fast. I don't know how he's <laughs> doing it. And then he <laughs> backs out of line and hides behind the coolest one, the one with the bow staff. Dave. You are up. The one without a bow staff. <laughs> With right, a it. bow staff in his hand. <laughs> his awesome. Okay. Will you paint a couple detailed pictures for me? First of all, what part of the mall are we in? Like what stores are near us? <laughs> the Garo Pastel is there. Mm -hmm. And Okay. I'm really I just want you to be able to use the ones you hadn't used yet. Thank you. I didn't I don't I'm not on those notes. It would oh, take no. me a really long time to <laughs> That was last episode. Okay. But we're in like a mall hallway, like near an exit because we were kind of on our way out. Yes. The mall exit is behind them. Okay. And they're blocking the exit. Got it. Is there a fountain nearby? I just want to know for ambiance purposes. Uh, it's like 40, 60 feet behind you. Okay. All right. Fountain. Fountain behind us. Okay. And now how are they lined up? What, what happened with stage everything with them? Okay. So right now you have the awesome one with the staff in the center. Behind him is the one with the gun. To his left, your right, is the one with the sigh. And to his right, your left, is the one with the nunchucks. Okay. Nunchucks, bow staff, sigh in front of us from left to right, and then gun behind. Correct. Okay. So now we can hit all, all of them with stuff. You can hit all of them. Yep. They're all like bunched together, back to back. Love as it. though they're used to fighting people in this formation. Okay. Uh, so I will be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, don't care. I will be shooting a firebolt at them. Okay, firebolt. Do you want me to tell you how that goes? Is that to one of them? Oh, you know what? The, yeah, since they're all in a group, I'm going to do something different. All right, I'm going to do something a little bigger. <laughs> since they're all in a group, yeah. Sparkle Blaster three thousand is what's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yes. Now, Dave, to be clear. You are also standing right there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to fire the Sparkle Blaster 3000. All right. Fantastic. Face 27. 
27. <laughs> oh, fuck. That will hit glitter everywhere. All of them. So this ball of molten glitter just blossoms out of the end of your Glitter Blaster 3000, absorbing these mall rats. Oh, that's actually quite pretty. Right? I like it. And here's the weird thing. Somehow, magically, even though you're really close, it does not damage any of you. Because it's a ranged spell attack. So um, that's... <laughs> roll 8d6 for me. And slightly in the background, you can hear, It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. A pride parade goes by outside and give you all thumbs up. <laughs> they don't know that you're actually murdering other sentient creatures. They just think you're in the mood. I feel like murder is not the right term here. This is self-defense. <laughs> Rat slaughter. Yeah. All right, I'm rolling 8d6, is that what you said? 8, Delphin, 6. Jesus. 25. 25. All right. Nunchucks evaporate, just evaporates. Gone. That rat, gone. And the nunchucks just stay there swinging in the air, sort of futilely for a second. The one with the sigh, pretty bad damage. And the one with the gun, less damage. He seems pretty tough. And then the one with the stick, also damaged. Okay. I bet the one with the sigh is taking it cooler than the others. No, the one with the stick. Actually, the one with the stick's taking it the coolest. I didn't know. No, yeah, I don't that. think that he is, though. Actually, I think he's just being a kind of a, <laughs> kind of an annoying nerd. All right. <laughs> the one with the sigh. It's his turn. Oh, sorry. Any bonus actions, movements? Yes. Yeah, yeah like that. I sorry. actually get to attack twice because I have that apparently. Nice. So that is used up for this battle. You cannot use your glitter blaster again, but you can do. A different thing. I can use it once per turn, it says. Yeah, I, I told you when you got it, you were not giving you that thing once per turn. Then <laughs> it just becomes the Fireball Blaster 3000. You didn't say that. I just listened to the episode. Mm, I told you in person and then I got it from the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not letting you fire this is a fireball. Yeah. Well, <laughs> welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Unbelievable. Gaslighting for fun and profit. I'm st okay. I, I have to do a different attack is what you're saying. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do a thing where I throw a non-magical weapon or fire a piece of non-magical ammunition. I'm going to just throw a non-magical weapon into the air and then I cast Conjure Barrage that creates a cone of identical weapons that shoot forward and then disappear. Each creature in a 60-foot cone has to succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Fantastic. Now that cone would hit all of you. I could aim Not it so the cone. cone only hits them. You're doing just the edge of the cone on them? Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming with the, my original thing past them so that only like the edge of the cone. Or you could throw it up above and come up from below. I'll allow that. Here's the only consequence I'll let you know. If you shape the cone this way so that it only hits the rats, you will also hit... The Garrus Postal will just shatter. <laughs> you will also hit great Agarican cookies. What am I going to hit? Great agaric and cookies. Fantastic. It'll smell like baked goods. This, this, is, yeah. this is not a bad thing. So win, win. Go ahead. Uh, roll that attack. <laughs> okay. Oh, what did you throw in the air? Let's see. I can throw anything from my inventory, right? Yeah. Any non-magical weapon? Let's say uh, it was a water skin. Ooh. <laughs> so a hail of water skins <laughs> come raining down on these rats. What do they make? A dexterity saving throw? I believe that's correct. I think it was a dexterity 17, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, size does not save. Gun, 20. That'll save. So I assume they take half damage? Yeah, they take half damage on a successful save. Nice. And then staff, despite his coolness, does not save. So roll that damage for me. All right. That's uh, 12 damage. Oh, all right. Ooh. A fall of water skins comes slamming down onto these rats. Size is looking rough and staff is looking rough, even though he looks super cool about it. So you basically just like modern tarred and feathered them with glitter and then water balloons. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. Which, can I say, I think should be the modern tar and feathering. I think we should start doing that to people. <laughs> Who shame themselves. Like when people get caught yelling at a server at a fresh, that this is what we should do. We should glitter and okay. water them. 
For this one, I'd also like to do an arcane jolt. Oh, all right. You can do that as well? Yeah, when I hit a target with a magic weapon attack or my steel defender hits a target, and he's going to be doing some shit in a second, I can uh, deliver 4d6 extra force damage or I can heal people. Fantastic. Do it. All right, so f I'm going to add a 4d6 roll to this. When did Heath get, like, good at this shit? You, the key is you just got to write in letters with all the stuff he can do. 20 more. Oh, all right. 20 more. Size is barely clinging to life. Rat with a gun, not looking good. And rat with a staff, not looking good. Dave, is that it? Yeah, bonus action. I'm going to have a Carlbot 3000 attack who's living still. Bow staff, size is barely alive. And gun is alive. Let's, let's get gun guy, right? Gun guy, all right. Uh, or should we get barely alive take, guy? Let's let's yeah, take care of barely alive guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Barely alive guy. You see your turret powers. What turret power do you want him to use there? Uh the best one. Okay. <laughs> no particular. I have no idea. <laughs> I it, like. I know I have Carl Bot, and he's awesome. And Carl is like in like somewhere in the pits of hell, controlling this bot, right? Yeah. He's got a. He's your steel defender, and he can do a punch. Because he, he mostly is for blocking damage for you. Oh, yeah. He has unarmed strikes. He can punch, kick, headbutt, or use a similar forceful blow. All right. Uh, I think a headbutt, right, Carl? The yeah. classic horn attack? Yeah, horn attack for Carl Bot. He's made of metal now, too, right? Mm -hmm. So he's got like a steel horn. All right. Let me roll for Carl. Like robot unicorn attack. There's a three. He will miss. So Carl comes flying by. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Misses. Carl, come on back next to me. I, I, I'm back here. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> you missed by a lot, but I just, missed, okay. I missed by Why a don't lot. you focus on defense from now on? We're all standing so close together, and you would think <laughs> we're really tight. You would think I would get him, but I did not. You're breathing so loud. <sighs> <sighs> Even the robot breathes loud. <laughs> To be fair, hear you coming. that is because I'm Italian, not because I'm a pug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, but, but because he's a robot, it's going to be Baba to beep boop. <laughs> there it is. He's got beep boop like techno apnea right now. Yeah, yeah and, he, and he likes garlic breadboarding. No. That's not <laughs> So size crosses their size in front of themselves and says, hey, try a little taste of this. And then they turn into a hawk. What? what? It's a hawk. They all collectively Voltroned into a hawk? Nope, just that one. Just that one. Just the size. Oh, oh, just just the one. oh, okay. One rat turns into a hawk and then like rockets way, way high up into the air. Fuck it. And by the way, listener, if you're wondering why Eli's referring to him by their weapons and not just saying Raphael and Dante, it's because he knows so little about Ninja Turtles that he doesn't know which one has the stack. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I, ca I cannot tell a lie. That's what it takes to like Donatello the most. Sorry. <laughs> this is what, it's tearing our podcast apart. <laughs> the level of ignorance required to think that's the coolest one is insane. <laughs> Agree. I hate, I, you know, all bands break up for a reason, but this is, this is never the one I expected. <laughs> All right, Cedric, you are up. Quick check in here. There is one with a staff who is looking bad. Size is an eagle up in the air. Gun is looking fine. And has a gun. <laughs> and has a gun. Yeah. So Sai is way up in the air. Can I still hit him with one of my arrow things? One of my like magic arrows? Yeah, almost certainly. How how? What's the distance on those? It's like fifty feet, right? It's crazy. Nine ninety feet. Yeah. 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 You absolutely hit him. All right, but I actually kind of want to shoot the gun guy because, you know, like, wait, we do you want to? Ooh. By the way, just if anybody wants at any moment, if you do like some kind of, we can weapon, order a pizza. <laughs> I can order a pizza while you do that <laughs> if you want. Or, please don't interrupt, I could also <laughs> add a six-second-long recorded audio message to the thing you shoot, or a, an, an odor, or a nonverbal sound, a taunty thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or uh, I can do a 25-word text, or less. So I can, like, uh, so like a miniature tweet on, on your thing, if you want. Sure, yeah. All right, so that's awesome. That's perfect, because I'm going to shoot an acid arrow at Raphael, 
And if you could send a te- at, like a text that says, "I know you're the coolest," it's obvious. <laughs> I think that's. I think that gets under twenty five, right? Got it. Is that the one with the gun or which would? That's the one with the, with the size. Wow, <laughs> that's the hawk. He's a bird, so he's not even going to read that. <laughs> so you know, I write it in bird language. It's for yeah, me, bird. Eli. All right. But yeah, so I it's have two tweet. spells. One is nice. Well done. <laughs> One is acid arrow and one is Melf's acid arrow, and they are exactly the same verbatim. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do a, a ranged spell attack to shoot him with my shimmering green arrow that will streak towards him and do 5d4 plus 10 damage if it hits him. All right. Hit it. And if it misses, it'll do 4d4. Yeah. Also, one of them says, like, also debate Joe Rogan right now. Yeah, right, right. Oh, and it's another nat 20. That's two in a fucking row. Fuck yeah. As you attach that message to it, the hawk is in perfect flight, but it looks down. And as the arrow goes straight through its heart, killing it instantly, you see a wink, a wink of knowledge, of brotherhood. Because that hawk slash rat that was holding size always knew that it was the coolest. Fuck yeah, it did. Of the rat. And then it falls to the ground dead because you shot it in the heart. Yeah, no, no I, like that, I like that I have nat 20s on both sides of that story arc, though. Yeah, exactly. That's nice. all, exactly all things. I, I started cool, it and rude. finished it the same Oof. way. <laughs> all right, Byron, you are up. Two left, gun, and <laughs> bow staff. Donatello. We're going to, like, draw out a slow death for the, like, alleged coolest one, right? Weird. <laughs> For real. Hey, how are you enjoying D&D Minus? They tortured um, Donatello, a yeah. ninja turtle to death. <laughs> but at least it wasn't a short episode. No, it was a, it was a solid length episode at last. What do they call the thing where you take out their lungs and make it look like wings? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> I want you to know that even though all of the characters are just things I made up, the rat with the stick is like freaked out right now. He, he is hearing <laughs> somehow hearing the table talk and freaked out. Not enjoying it. Zero stars. Okay, so I have a bit of a question. I have a bit of an answer. Okay, I hope you do. In my bonus action thing, it says two weapon fighting. Mm-hmm. Does that mean if I am holding two weapons, I can attack with either one? Yes. So it depends on the weapon you're holding. So for instance, your Warhammer has a one-handed and two-handed version of its damage. I noticed that. Yeah. So if I perhaps used a infusion to replicate a magical item like my Warhammer, I could attack with it twice? Yes. You're saying? Absolutely. Love this. Phenomenal. I think I'm going to do that. And that's going to be... That's 21 to attack. That'll hit. Excellent. Which one are you attacking? Just so I know. Gun or... Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the gun because he's got a fucking gun. Yep. Smart. <laughs> How about that? Love it. All right. So that's going to be a 12 attack, 12 damage on the first. And then here's the second one coming, which is 12 to hit. That will not hit. That will not hit. Okay. Well, he takes this to 12 damage. Yeah, and you know what we could do? We could do a cool one where, like, the thing you duplicate, he ducks out of the way, and just as he stands up, wham, you get him right in the head. With oh, the, fuck uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then I can teleport away because I have cool armor. And then you teleport away. And then I teleport away. I think we have all of the same items. I think we literally have, like, duplicate characters. Well, because we're all artificers. We're we all, all have artificers. The same that yeah, have, like, you're all artificers. Tinkering and no, I know, but it's just, in- like... Infusing, yeah. It's just duplicates. I also got spells I can do. I bet we have all the same spells. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if someone gave you guys like a special power or anything and then did like a whole scene about it, that might be the place to focus on your differences. I don't know if anyone did, <laughs> but if like there was a whole part of our podcast. I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't teleport away. No, I can. Well, no, you can because you got the boots. Yeah. 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 Are you talking about like t-shirt cannons from Gary? Like that stuff that we got? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I would use my armor as an attack, but the problem is it only does 1d6. Yeah. So. Yep, got that one too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Claw, you are up. I'm going to do whatever somebody did last time because we have all the same shit. So 
Let's see. You have a flamethrower. <laughs> He's over here being like, we all have the same shit. He has a flamethrower and a proton <laughs> blaster. You have a, I don't have a flamethrower. No one has a flamethrower but you. Hey, you know what's funny? You have lung cancer now and you kind of fall over yeah. coughing. You do. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, what's that? The super cool rat just fucking kicked you in the fucking ball. <laughs> Well, as a reaction. Uh, we did find out last time that I have a vagina, so. As a reaction to your hurtful words, that's the reaction. <laughs> hey, it still hurts if you have a vagina. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do shocking grasp on the gun. Sure. Guy. Should I do it on the gun or just the gun guy? Uh, I'm going to do the gun guy. Is Morgan a bird? Yeah. Morgan is a bird. Cool. But I'm a girl bird. Or a zizer bird, right? Zizer, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do Shocking Grasp. And which way is he pointing? Which way is... Who did he attack last? Technically you. So he shot on either side of your head. So he's now facing you. Okay. So the gun's pointing at me, right? Correct. So I'm going to like grab the the hand that's holding the gun and like, you know, push it upwards so that he's... That we're like right nose to nose like we were before. Nice. Ooh, tango style. Yep. And I'm going to Shocking Grasp the hand that I'm holding. All right. Well, let's see how this attack goes because you don't get to tangle him unless the attack succeeds. Yeah. 12. No, that does not hit. You pull him in for a tango thing. How does this go? I'm excited how this goes badly. Well, but I'm still close, right? I'm still close. You're close. You pull him in for a tango thing and point the gun at the ceiling. But for some reason, the electricity just runs through him and he's totally fine. Yeah. And then I pull the flamethrower right up under his chin and try and blast his head off. Oh, do it. Oh. Nice. I gotta find it again. DC 12 dexterity. It happened! Nice. Wait, I shoot him or I don't shoot him? You do shoot him. Okay, cool. I love that description. The fucking misdirection and the electricity and then the gun comes up and there's just like a, a gout of flame. Absolutely. I meant to miss him. You're so right. I meant That's to right. miss him. Totally. Yeah. Roll that damage for me. He's pretty close to death. <laughs> 11 damage. 11. Oh, no. He does not die. All right. He just has sunburn. He's very burned. He can take a couple <laughs> of flamethrowers to the face. You know, exactly. everybody can take one or two. Everyone could take two flamethrowers <laughs> to the face. All right. Anything else? Bonus action? You did all your actions, right? I believe so. Movement? Anything? I meant to do a fucking pirouette on my <laughs> turn. And, because, and I didn't. I'm checking if the flamethrower has any... Is he wearing anything flammable? Is any of the clothing he's wearing flammable? Uh, yeah. Is it on fire now? No. Because <laughs> you got just his head. <laughs> Fair enough. I like the idea of a gnome off to the side, like, thinking about pirouettes, but it's not your turn, <laughs> so it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> That's because they, they know... Cedric knows the legend of great-grandpa Snedric <laughs> shitting himself during the back <laughs> throat, so... Right, right. We have a... We have a Long and proud tradition of spinning during right, fights. Right, no, not <laughs> trying it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Staff is going to attack you, Chitty Chitty. Is one of us named Chitty Chitty? That's me. Chitty Chitty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He'd have to go through the gun guy though, right? No. We are literally on top of each other. Going around and hitting you in the back. Sure. 18. That sounds like something that Donatello would do, sort of cowardly attack. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's, it's a 23. Sorry, does a 23 hit? It's not hit? Really more cowardly. No. It's a more like a... No? Okay. Cool guy thing. What's your fucking... Well, with the infusions, it's 24. Jesus, what kind of armor class did you have? 21. And 17. So I don't know. I don't even know how. I am lost for words, but somehow this... This rat jumps out around and hits you twice in the back with this long stick, but it doesn't matter. You know what it Just does? Smacks it, the blue bear. It bounces. Ah, you beat me to it. It bounces off of the uh, <laughs> the blue bear backpack, <laughs> and it makes that like sound that squeaky toys make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gun. Okay, so are you ready? You pull. Rat with a gun into a tango position, miss with the thing, put the gun under his chin, fire. But now you look down and he has a gun under your chin. And he says, oh, no, tit for tat, princess. So he has two guns. Yeah, because he'd have to break a grapple. Well, He did he? have two. Well, guns. no, you didn't, you didn't roll to grapple him. You, didn't, you don't have a grapple. Mm. I was just I was just allowing you to do like a, a nice mm -hmm. flame. Thing. Do you want to roll the grapple and 
ruin your entire turn because that's also <laughs> your <laughs> action and you can't do the spell. Like, so to be clear, this guy got hit in the face with a flamethrower, but mm -hmm. also had the presence of mind to keep a secret gun under Morgan's head, under his chin. Exactly. Okay. Mall rats. They're very tricky. It's guns all the way down. Guns all the way down. <laughs> 27. Does 27 hit, hit or is it 20? All right. Yeah. That is going to do 22 damage total. And it also blasts you backwards 10 feet. Into the bow staff guy? No, we'll just say backwards. No. Back to like our side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there any sort of taunt with like chitty chitty bang bang when the gun goes off? <laughs> oh my God. That's so brilliant. Oh, fuck. I feel like they would taunt there. What a terrible miss. I thought that's why you named me that and gave me guns. Yeah, right, right. And no. then put a guy with two I shots. I did think in. of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang as the combination of the thing, but I didn't think of it now to say it out loud. Oh, <laughs> tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> All right. Dave, you're up. All right. You're <laughs> so sad. Okay. Fucking Dave. I don't know. Somebody else go. <laughs> I, I mean, look, that was like the best moment. That was the best possible line of the podcast. <laughs> and I failed right here. Right now. <laughs> Aw. Yeah. I fail at puns on the other shows. You come up with good stuff too. Oh, Eli. it's probably repetitive, huh? It's probably repetitive. <laughs> it's probably repetitive. <laughs> Anna told me my comedy was repetitive seven months ago. And Your I puns are a good size. I... Think about it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. No big deal. Because mall rats. It's not like you're an important person in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yep. I was, I'm, I'm actually so, crazy. I'm sorry you guys had to see us go through an ugly breakup this way. I'm, you know what? I'll give you two a second. I'll give you two a second. I'm crying about those billionaires <laughs> on that submarine. If you can just take your turn. <laughs> oh, no. It's actually not funny at all. <laughs> what? Human life is human life. I never said you weren't funny. <laughs> this is bad to <laughs> How do you back slowly out of a podcast? I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing that now. I'd like to roll for backing slowly out of the podcast. <laughs> okay. I'm going in like the wiki now. This is all in the wiki. Okay. T-shirt cannon. Misty step. That's how you back out slowly. Out. Good, good answer. Mm. <laughs> t-shirt cannon. I t-shirt cannon. One per battle. It says one per turn. It's in the description. No, I have taken that away. Taru one per battle. said specifically, it's I in the thing. I spoke to Taru myself Did this you? morning. Yep. I called them and this I said. This morning? Yep. And I said, Taru. Okay. So if I check on that with Taru, th Please, that would be. Please, check on it, check it out right now. I actually have them on the phone right now. Oh, do you? Yeah, what time yep. of day is it there? Can I talk to Taru? Yeah. Hello, he. Hello. <laughs> <It's, it's, laughs> name, um, you're in, uh, you're in Norway, right? Yes. Nope, you're in Finland. <laughs> Name a thing about Finland. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> I feel like, here's the thing. We've met Taru at a couple of conventions, but I'm not like sure they're going to love that. So <laughs> let's move forward. I'm not certain. Let's hope. I'm pretty So I feel certain. Okay, good. That's all right. As a cast, we're moving forward with that joke. We're hoping. We're, we're playing. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't use your, your glitter blast. You got to use something else. Fine. Okay. He's still just jealous over the chitty chitty bang bang thing. That's yeah, right. He's yeah, still yeah, taking it personally. Uh, yeah. He's just taking it <laughs> out on you. Yeah. It feels super, super duper spiteful. The rest of this arc is just going to be my spiteful vengeance for missing that joke. <laughs> What's your, your special thing that you had? Well, I used to think it was comedy, but then you said it was repetitive. This is my cannon. This is my t-shirt cannon with the glitter. No, the, the, the grandchild. Yeah, the character thingy. As Dave Jr. Jr. It's Carl. Oh, I have Carl. I have Carlbot. All right. But Carlbot's just for defense, apparently, mostly. Do you not have spells? I have spells, but they're kind of shitty. I got to be honest. Cast a fucking spell. I got to be honest, like, whatever, 400 years ago, some other generation, old timey, my family, amazing at spells. Now, shitty at spells. There are no boring spells, only boring one-liners. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I feel inspired by this All right. quip of wisdom. Okay. I will be doing Tasha's Caustic Brew. Ooh. What the fuck is that? That sounds very interesting. That's a stream of acid emanating from you in a line 30 feet long and five feet wide. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you can, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. No, it is all those things. 
It is all those things. <laughs> How many are alive in front of me right now? Two. Okay, so I'm hitting both of them with this line. Great. Absolutely. Each creature within the line must succeed on a dex saving throw. That's a DC 17, so pretty good chance. Or they get covered in acid for the spell's duration or until a creature uses its action to scrape or wash the acid off itself or another creature, which if that's what happens, I'll enjoy watching them scrape acid off themselves. Yes. A creature covered in the acid takes 2d4 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. And this actually goes up depending on what level I'm doing. I'm pretty high level. It's going to be an 8d4. Oh, shit. Oh, so they don't take the damage now. They take it at the start of their turns. You don't now. What? They don't take the damage now. They take it at the start of their turn. What's the physics of that in this turn-based universe? They like have it on them and they're just like, this doesn't count yet. Yeah, exactly. It takes a they're second waiting. for the... You know how <laughs> to really get the going. cartoon doesn't fall until he looks down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Kind of like in Batman Forever with the boiling acid where yeah, like yeah. it doesn't right away. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Spoilers. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that. Do they save? Uh, nope. Nice. And no. So they're now drenched in acid. Beautiful. So I'm rolling for damage? No, you don't do damage now. It does it on their turn. Okay, but I, I want to roll it now so I don't forget. Okay. Yeah, so we know. Okay. Eli, are you going to write this down when I roll? Yeah, no, I'll remember it with my heart. You'll remember the number <laughs> in the back of your head? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to write this down. Everybody write this down. It'll be in the log. 21. 21 damage. Okay. So both Jesus. of them will die when their turn starts. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I perfect. feel like we should try to kill him first, right? Like, I feel like we should try to, like, knock him out before Heath's All right. spell can have any effect. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. This is awesome. This is like sh like Schrodinger's cat, but, like, we don't, we know he's going to die. <laughs> so not Schrodinger's that. rat. Yeah, but we can just do, rat. like, fun shit Schrodinger's instead. rat. Schrodinger's rat is fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Who, who's that? Nice. I, fuck. That was me. I, I said Chitty, that. Chitty, bang, bang. Fuck you. <laughs> God so, damn it. Uh, I get to attack again or I, so I can just do something fun, right? Yep. <laughs> nice. I'm going to I'm gonna do... Uh, I can walk on water. I'm going to go to the fountain and walk around on it. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave runs off to run around on the surface of the fountain. Fantastic. <laughs> you guys are dead and you don't know it. Cedric, you're up. Everybody, look at this. Look at this. You should. You need to repent. You need to repent right now. I'm just kidding. That's the worst. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God, Pat Robertson died recently. That's cool. <laughs> Fuck religion. All right. So I don't, because I, I know they're going to die anyway. I don't want to, like, waste a spell slot on them. So I'm going to use my thorn whip Ooh. on Donatello. All right. You have a thorn whip? Okay, you guys were all talking about how we all had the same things. I don't have thorn whip or fucking potion bitch, whatever it is. Sizzle bitch. <laughs> I have potion bitch. Yeah. If I have a thorn whip, I missed it and I'm mad. That's awesome. You guys don't have thorn whip. I've got Thorn Whip. You create a long vine-like whip covered in thorns that lashes out at your command towards a creature in range. Make a melee spell attack against the target. If the attack hits, the creature takes 1d6, but it'll be th uh, 3d6 because of where I am. Nice. Roll that attack for me. This is great because they're already dead and you're like, well, I'm going to Thorn Whip you also. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. You're going You're going out with a rash on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, or maybe not. I got a 12 on my uh, attack. No, nope, that will not hit. Okay. Uh, it does not say anything about them taking half damage. No, it just misses. Yeah, yeah. It just misses, apparently. All right. Anything else? Uh, no. I, uh... All right. Byron. Hi. I'm gonna, I guess, do the fiery bolt thing with my armor on one of them. Yeah. Nice. Which one? Donatello. Torture Donatello. Torture Donatello? Okay. I, which Wait, Donatello? what if you heal him? What happens then? <laughs> <laughs> no. Then maybe he doesn't die and we can fuck with him some more. <laughs> no. What, what are you I fucking, hate him. <laughs> yeah, you are savage, Dorothy. Thank I'm starting you. To, honestly, I am starting to be on April Poth's side about I'm sorry. I'm starting to be on my husband's side about this. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to... Where is it? Oh, there's. First of all, he's a rat. And for copyright purposes, his name is Ronatella. Okay, Ron yeah. Ron <laughs> <laughs> no, so so let, now let's be clear. We don't hate Ronatella. We hate... Fucking uh, Eli? April? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That'll hit. 
Ra- Ra- <laughs> Ronatello. Wait, wait, what's Ra- is it Daphael then? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it would be. No, it's yeah. Rat Fael. Rat Fael. Oh, th- there you go. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, now we're clear. That I <laughs> Okay, cool. Take here, take two damage. <laughs> that's my special. That's my fucking special suit. It's like you did the the hand buzzer, <laughs> handshake, or something to no, him. No, no, man. I held, hold up my hand, and like the a purple crystal starts growing from it, and then all of a sudden it shoots out like a dart at him, like Iron Man would. And he's like, "Ow, man! Ouch! That hurt." Actually, he had one hit point left, so it kills him. Oh God! No, wait, never mind. <laughs> I take it all back. Ronatello dies in the coolest possible way. I don't think so. No. By suicide in a neighbor's garage. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ. Don't worry about it. Trust me. It's what? actually super dope. Claw, you're up. I'll let you know. If you don't kill this one with a gun, he is going to dissolve. Also, you're holding him, but I'm not going to like damage you with this acid, just so you know. I was so, I was like, don't say that you're holding this person. You are holding them, but for some reason, the acid has stayed away from yeah, you. Yeah, I was like, don't speak. Acid doesn't count yet. Probably start with letting go and then do <laughs> something speak up. to fuck with him. You could scrape some of it off, apparently. <laughs> it says here under actions that I can improvise. You can. I'm going to do that. Yes. And <laughs> someone give me a profession. <laughs> <laughs> You're you're at the candy shop. <laughs> I yelled to David. Davide? Yep, Davide at the fountain. What up? I'm walking on water over here. What are you doing? Give me a uh, current pop culture icon that in this a in this current era that we're in. Nice uh, guy who died in the stupid fucking submarine. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm the guy who died in the stupid submarine, and then I walk away from the guy who's going to dissolve. Yeah, and then he just dissolves. All right, perfect. All right. <laughs> End of (laughs) battle. All right. You walk through the mall doors with dead bodies and pool of acid behind you. We're in slow motion. It's pretty cool. I'm going to like blow something up just behind us, like a little small firecracker. (laughs) You throw just like a small thing and explodes. Hey, everybody. Just hopping in to thank you once again for listening to the show. We hope you're enjoying it as much as we enjoy making it. And man, this was a super duper fun episode to do. Feels like the show gets more fun by the month. A couple of quick housekeeping announcements. First of all, we will see you next month, the first Friday after the first Wednesday of every month. I know that's a weird system, but that's how Patreon kind of pays us, so we have to do that weird hop, skip over the first week kind of thing. If you haven't left us a review yet, wherever you're getting your podcasts, please do that. Five-star reviews do a ton to boost the visibility of this show and help new people find out about it and all of our products. And hey, if you really like the show and you want more behind-the-scenes extras, extra games, and all sorts of stuff, why not sign up to be a patron over at DND minus patreon.com forward slash DND minus all spelled out. You can sign up for as little as a dollar a show. It's once a month. You can give us a dollar a show if you want to, and you'll get all sorts of behind the scenes stuff. But the higher levels of patrons, they get to do stuff like add characters and items to the show. You'll hear a little bit of that today. So head on over patreon.com forward slash DND minus. All right, let's get back to it. CarlBot 3000 leads you to your final destination. Here it is, says CarlBot. M&T Bank. The Fiendstone is right on the bottom floor in a safe deposit box, so in we go. Okay. (laughs) You step into an ordinary bank lobby. Well, ordinary, except for the fact that about 10 feet in, you're met with a wall of fire. Carl looks at the wall of fire and says, all right, sorry, password. Uh, Here we go. Uh, David and Chitty for the number ever K3K3. It's a a, a sideways heart. (laughs) And with that, the wall of fire falls, revealing four large steel question marks. Oh, no, says Carl. Not the security questions. Are me and Dave in love? I'd love for you to know that we are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're not now. I don't know. Are we or are we not? I don't know. 
Do we have wow. a joint bank account? <laughs> yeah. Clearly. We do. <laughs> How do you know all this? You guys are teenagers. It's still real. <laughs> <laughs> this is me telling you. Anyway, Wait, the bank. <laughs> nope. this is I love me you. Breaking up with you. Oh. What? Oh my God. <laughs> this is going to be insufferable. Can we leave them here? <laughs> I mean, we can, le- we can leave it be till later, but yes, we can go on. Anyway, the bank. <laughs> Circle back to that. Doesn't recognize your souls. Your souls are in the wrong body. So you guys got to answer some questions that only you could answer. You guys shouldn't have any problem with them, but. Uh, oh, fuck you, Eli. <laughs> but just in case, I'll see you on the other side. And with that, he whirs up to a vent in the wall, folds himself very thin and disappears through it. I can turn into ooze. Wait, I have a thing that turns me into ooze. I can but just then the that vent disappear. <laughs> then the vent closes and disappears oh, and falls off the wall. <laughs> and was never there. And the vault. And then the vent also has a big middle finger. I don't believe you. I mean, we can all kind of teleport 15 feet away. Carlbot, come back. No. I'm over, I can't hear you. I'm over here. You have to do what I say. I can't. I have plus 10 on Arcana in history. I feel like that might help. Yeah, I, I think also so too. have. Okay. Anyways, as you take a step towards the question marks, the first one glows ominously red and says, Soul identified, Snedrick Ferndangle, analysis in process, analysis complete. Snedrick Ferndangle, welcome to MT Bank. The day you first met, you learned that Floon had been captured by the Black Dragons. Who works the front desk at their lair? Pause. Listen to me very closely. Players, you cannot help each other. Cool. Okay. I have, I have, no, I have no idea. I think it's Gary. It's not Gary. You're not Gary. That's well, true. It's Gary. You don't love me. <laughs> I'm not in love with you. Correct. I thought you were going to say I also don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> A voice echoes out from the question mark and says, incorrect and an electric zap hits you in the chest for 20 points of lightning damage. I, okay, it was correct. I'm I'm correct that <laughs> I don't know. That is true. You are uh by the way that was Greg the good gang member. Greg the good gang member. Yes, yeah, it was, sure was. Oh boy. I still have his clipboard in my inventory. This is how we all die, by the way. <laughs> you seriously set up a spite quiz for the details yeah, of the thing? he did. He <laughs> sure this did. This is what we get for not listening to this show. Yeah. That's right. Second question mark, clock sucker. The Island of Sea Crash holds an annual contest of strength and dexterity that you were the victor of. What is the contest called? Shattering. Boom! Holy shit. I actually knew that oh, one. That one was easy. Yeah, that right. Was pretty he easy. the easy I one. I didn't know He's that like, one. What is your favorite color? Hold on a second. This is not the same as mine. What was the name of this one fucking character that was in episode two, three and a half fucking years ago? But he gets what was the shattering. But much beloved. He's in the he's in the wide screen character art. That's how much people love Greg the Gang. Come on. It was the name of the contest and it was like a legendarily the backflip moments mm-hmm. for all mm-hmm. of us was called the shattering also. Mm-hmm. Come on. That was the shittering. I didn't remember either of them. Great. I'm not going to lie. There we go. <laughs> I, and I listened to the fucking podcast. <laughs> Question mark number three. Dave the Dragonborn inside the Colossus you discovered the reason for its malfunction. What kind of creature had taken over the Colossus's brain and caused it to malfunction? Okay, I do remember this one. Donald Trump eyeball. <laughs> what kind of creature? I know that was the voice I did. Donald Trump eyeball. That's technically right. What kind of voice is it? What kind of creature was it? You're very close. You got to tell me what the creature is. What? Hold I on. only remember Hold this on. one because someone sent us an amazing little sculpture of it. Yeah, we have a sculpture of it in our home. Kevin, I believe, made that for us, and it is... Thank you, Kevin. You're a very talented artist. Absolutely startling. What could it be? Hold on. (laughs) Beholder. Oh, shit, yes! Beholder, all right. And then, of course, last but not least, Bridget, 
What? There were only three fucking question. There's a fourth one. He steps out. There wasn't room. <laughs> but then that second guy, he vanished. So now I'm here. Bridget Boulderstash. Yes. What is the full name of the person who got Snedrick kicked out of school? Fuck. You, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Heavily based on Lucinda Luger. No, that's not who got him kicked out of school. Oh, got him kicked out. Oh, 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 yeah. oh wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Sure wasn't clock sucker. I don't remember. Wait, hold on. Uh, I, I. Oh wait, it was, it was. Um. A mean name. Sometimes Wayne Brady's got a slap. Heath, I will, I will penalize her. I will penalize. Abitch, Abitch. Yes. What's their last name? That was not their. Fuck that was you. That wasn't their name. last Get name. Get out of here. They had a full. They had a full name. What was their last name? Schmernschmanger Blanger. Lightning Banger? blast to the chest for twenty points of damage. That would be a beach. <laughs> Slutsky. All right. The giant question marks roll out of your way and you find Carlbot 3000 on the other side of the doors. Okay, that's a weird fucking question mark. Like, like cuz it just zaps you but still lets you in. Yeah, let's Well, you, you in. got two of them right and that's all it takes for the, oh, the other stuff. <laughs> well, then why did it still even ask her? That's it's that's not just a, seems mean. It's not it a perfect spiteful. system. Yeah, I know. It's a it's almost like it's there just to remind us that he's God. Who's in charge? <laughs> There's a client <laughs> feedback form. If you guys want to fill it out, you can fill it out. Anyways, they roll out of your way. You find Carlbot3000 on the other side vaping a digital cigar. And he says, <laughs> so how'd that go? You guys do okay? Not good, Carl. Not good. Uh, I kind of figured that. Well, here we are. And you now see that you're facing a tremendous golden elevator. All right. Uh, Fiendstone is down there at the very bottom of the vault. You, you guys want to follow me? This is all super sus. Are we starting like a really problematic campaign for president? What's happening? <laughs> hey, go, just, uh, just follow me. And down you descend into the depths of the bank, lower and lower, until the air becomes cool and damp. And when the doors open, you find yourself in a space that is oddly familiar. This vault, for all its modernity, is huge with towering ceilings and a large empty hole at its center. All right, says Carl. All we got to do is defeat the dragon and your withdrawal should just pop right out of the center of her. Another fucking dragon fight. Yeah, I mean, what did you guys think m and stands for? And as he says that, a large metal five-headed dragon rises out of the darkness below and you hear the deafening roar of Mecha Tiamat. God damn it. Everybody roll initiative. We should for just me. use Chase. Mecha Tiamat. <laughs> yeah. There's may, way more <laughs> way more locations. So it's M ampersand T, right? M and T bank. Yeah. Mecha Tiamat. What's not N and you're saying? M and and. Yeah, yeah. I got you, got you. <laughs> Jesus. I was like, what's the end? I'm going to end the you. episode like this instead of that lovely, like, <laughs> outro. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> 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 What was the name of the bar at the beginning? Ooh. I don't fucking know. Uh, the Yawning Portal? You mean the very beginning? Well, yeah. What was the bar where we fought over the turkey leg at the, like, earlier? Yaw the Yawning, Yawning Portal. Portal. Yeah, it's, the, it's from actual D&D lore. Who? The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved.